بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ٹوڈے ان دس ٹیوٹوریل وی ول ڈسکس دیٹ وٹ آر دا امپارٹنٹ تھنگس وٹ آر دا امپارٹنٹ پوائنٹس دیٹ یو مسٹ کنسیڈر وین یو آر گوئنگ ٹو سلیکٹ اے کنٹرولر فار یور مینوفیکچر پروسیس فار یور انڈسٹری فار یور پلانٹ دا مین امپارٹنٹ تھنگس وچ یو ریکوائر وین یو آر گوئنگ ٹو سلیکٹ اے اسپیسیفک کنٹرولر فار یور انڈسٹری فار یور پروسیس the here in Mitsubishi PLCs before proceeding further in this video please subscribe my channel so that you can get a notification for every new video we have different kinds of series available FX1S it has its own characteristics its input uh, outputs in FX1S series are 10 FX1S 10M 10 mean its inputs outputs uh, uh, total R10. How many inputs available in FX1S, FXIS? There are six inputs available in it and eight outputs are available and it can take supply 24 volt DC or 100 to 240 volt AC and its output type is transient, transistor type or relay type. In the same way FX1S 14M, FX uh, it has 8 inputs and 6 outputs its outputs are also available in the same uh, supply type and the output type are the same 24 volt DC 100 to 240 volt AC and transistor or relay type are uh, both are available FX IS 20M its output input outputs are 20 and in, in which you can get 12 inputs, 8 outputs. FX1S 30M, 16 inputs, 14 outputs. In the same way, in FX1N series, you can get from 14 to 60 input outputs. Different inputs outputs are available. And it's uh, uh, one more thing in FX1S. In FX1 and FX1N 14M, you can get 12 to 24 volt DC input and 100 to 240 volt AC input and it is both available in transistor and relay type in uh, going further you can study it individually you can uh, have in the series of FX2N from 16 to 128 input outputs in FX2N 128 input outputs are available 64 inputs 64 outputs and in the same way FX2N 64, uh, 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 64M it consists of 32 inputs 32 outputs this ATM in the model of a PLC FX2N ATM it means that there are its inputs are AT and its input and output total are available in an in a, in a, in a amount of AT so 40 input 40 output in FX2N C from 16 to 96 inputs outputs are available maximum uh, minimum inputs are 8 input 8 output in fx 2nc 16m and fx 2nc 96m you can get 48 inputs 48 outputs both other things are same power supply and output fx in fx 3u from 16 to 64 inputs are available inputs outputs are available in fx 3u 3u 16 input 16M you can get 68 inputs and 8 outputs and FX3U 64M you can get 32 inputs and 32 outputs and its power supply varies from 24 volt DC also is also available in 24 volt DC and also in AC supply if you want to get AC supply uh, at the input of the PLC you can get 100 to 20 volt AC terminal on the input side of the PLC and it is also available in transistor and relay type notations how we can den den denote our Mitsubishi PLC inputs outputs and other things input is noted with X output is denoted with Y M is relay a buffer memory in the PLC that can have two states on and off T is used for the denotation of timer 
a time relay that can be used to program time functions c is used for the notation of counter a counter d is a data register data storage in the plc in which you can store things like measured values and the results of calculations going towards the timers which type of timers are available in different series of mitsubishi plcs timer is uh, denoted with t and its output is 0 or 1 it may be it uh, it said its its timing is taken in the format of decimal device address format is decimal in fx1s you can have normal timers and retentive timers both in different kinds of plcs but in fx1s the, the timers available are 100 millisecond timers are 63 its its range is from 0 0.1 to 327.0.7 seconds in fx 1s you have 31 timers available in 100 millisecond as normal timers fx 1s 1 millisecond timer is available in as uh, is also available in normal timers this is t03 10 millisecond timers are 31 which uh, are from t32 to t t02 to t32 it has no retentive timers in fx1s there is no retentive timer all these are the normal timers or we can say that these are the non retentive timers in fx1n you can have 200 timers of 100 millisecond range and these are from T0 to T100 in a normal condition and retentive timers are T250 to T255 these are the retentive timers in FX1N 100 millisecond timers are uh, uh, it, it consists of normal timer is 46 and there is no return to timer in the same way you can study it out in fx2n there are 200 normal timers and 6 return to timers and in this way in fx3u you can have 100 millisecond timers are 200 t0 to uh, are 100 t0 to t100 and six timers are retentive timers t252 t255 and there uh, also you can have a 10 millisecond timer which are 40 which are uh, available from t245 to t200 there and there is no timer in this fx3u of 100 millisecond and one millisecond timer is also available for non uh, for retentive timers and 256 are re non-retentive or normal timers so different timers available in different plc series it may be retentive timer non-retentive timer retentive timer are those timers which retains their time when they are turned off and non-retentive timers are normal timers are those timers which can't retain their time when they are turned off they when they are started they start from zero again but the retentive timer when it uh, it is turned off it retains its time and it exactly starts from the same time to which it was stopped for example it is stopped at 100 it will stop at 100 it will remain at the 100 timing position and when it is turned on again it starts timing from 100 and further goes in this way you can study out different kinds of timers now we study the features of counters counter directions is very important there are two kinds of timers 
one is 60, 16 bit counter and other is 32 bit counter it may be incrementing in, incrementing type incrementing and decrementing incrementing and decrementing type the direction is specified by switching a special relay on or off in 32 bit time counters set point value it ranges in 16 bit from 1 to 32767 and 32 bit counters its set point value ranges from minus 2 1 4 7 4 8 3 6 4 8 2 2 1 4 7 4 8 3 6 4 7 this is a huge value set point uh, value in set point value entry directly as a decimal constant k in the instruction or indirectly in a data register directly in 32 bit counter directly as a decimal constant k in the instruction or indirectly in a pair of data register it needs two register in 32 bit counter and it requires one register in 16 bit counter counter overflow behavior counts to a maximum value of 32766 after which the counter value no longer changes when it goes to the highest value after that its value does not change but after going after reaching to its highest value in 32 bit counter it starts decrementing ring it uh, ring counter after reaching its maximum value the next incrementing value is starts in minus 2417483648 when counting backward when it reaches to the maximum value and it starts counting backward in the 32 bit counter counter output once the set point value has been reached the output remains on in 16 bit counter and in 32 bit counter when incrementing the output remains on once the set point value has been reached when decrementing the output is reset switched off once the value drops below the set point value resetting and rst instruction is used to delete the current value of the counter and turn off its output rst command is used for both 16 bit counter and 32 bit counters to turn them into the reset in the previous value reset them counter overview there are different counters available normal counters and retentive counters and high speed counters counter is denoted with c device type bit device Possible device values 0, 1, device address format decimal, it also gives its value in decimal. Counter set point value entry as a decimal integer constant, the set point can be set either directly in the instruction or indirectly in a data register. Two data registers for 32 bit counters. 32 bit counter needs two register and uh, 16 bit counter uh, requires one register so in plc fx 1s series 16 bit counters are 16 from c0 to c15 and 16 are retentive counters which are c16 to c31 32 bit counters are not available in this mod in this series 32 bit high speed counters are available only in retentive type these are 21 and these uh, ranging from C235 to C255. In FX1N, 16 bit counters are 16 from C0 to C15, and 184 counters are retentive counters in this type. And FX1N, 32 bit counter, it has 20 32 bit counters. And 32 bit high speed counters, there is no 32 bit high speed normal counter, but 21. 32 bit high speed retentive counters are available in fx2 and fx2 and c you can see that 16 bit counters are available 100 in this also retentive counters available are 100 and in uh, 32 bit uh, counters in normal range in normal counters are 20 and in retentive uh, counters these are 15 from c220 to c234 and high speed counters fx2 and c are 21 these are c235 to c2 c255 these are high speed high speed 32 bit counters in fx2 and c in fx3 you see 16 bit counters are 100 from c0 to c100 and 
retentive timers are also 100 from C 100 to C 199 these are C 0 to C 99 and these are from C, C 100 to C 199 32, 32 bit counters are 20 in FX 3U from C 200 to C 219 and high and retentive timers are 15 from C222 C234 and 32 bit high speed counters are only 21 which are in normal condition not these are the normal counters not the retentive counters and these are 21 from C235 to C255 number system we should discuss number system as you may I think know that decimal system start from 0 and 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and goes further in the same way octal system have 8 digits 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and there is no 9 10 after 7 it start from 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 and there is 9 there is no 18 19 after 17 it start from 20 binary system is 0 1 system octal system is I already have discussed 0 to 7 and hexadecimal system consists of 16 digits it start from 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and then it there is no 10 there is a b c d e f up to 16 total 0 to f these are 16 so its base is 16 the octal number in octal number its base is 7 in binary number its base is 2 in decimal number its base is 10 therefore we should remember these numbers these are very important numbers and can be used for different types of can be used in different types of data therefore when you are assigning values you need to know that whether this data is in binary octal decimal or hexadecimal numbers I think you may have learned something new from this video and which can help you out to boost your career in, in, in automation thank you so much for watching this video